Shouldn't he be crying? Why did they take him away? My heart raced. Anna looked terrified. The baby presented with a weak respiratory effort. Heart rate was 50 BPM, poor muscle tone, and cyanotic. Anna expected to hold her baby, but we had to move. We got him under the warmer. I just met her wide eyes with a nod. You're counting every second. They seemed to move in a whirlwind, rubbing and wiping, shifting and pinching him. After about 20 seconds of vigorous stimulation, drying and suctioning, respiratory effort was still weak. His heart rate remained below 100 BPM. We started supplemental O2 and continued vigorous tactile stimulation to get the little guy to cry. The pulse ox sensor was placed quickly. I went cold when they put the mask on his face and hooked something to his tiny foot. The doctor looked at Miles and the monitor back and forth. We had O2 sats posting in seconds. Sats were just 55%, respiratory efforts still weak. He was still cyanotic and the heart rate was 80 BPM. I wanted to calm Anna, but what should I say? What could I do? I felt so powerless. Approaching 30 seconds, the baby was still cyanotic. Respiratory efforts still weak. Heart rate had improved to 100 BPM, but O2 sets were still low, 65%. I was ready to give a few PPV breaths. It felt like an eternity. Then his respiratory efforts began to improve. O2 sets were still 65% though. Approaching one minute, his respiratory efforts continued to improve. Color and muscle tone improved as well. With O2 saturations in the 80s, hard over 100, and improving muscle tone, I was relieved. After a few good cries, we removed the supplemental O2. He was pinking up nicely by then. No PPV was needed after all. The doctor checked the monitor again, and then she relaxed and took away the mask. By five minutes, we had a vigorous newborn ready to be with mom. With his head on Anna's chest, I knew Miles was safe. You hate to see patients go through this. You want to avoid unnecessary interventions. But you cherish that moment when you can step aside and let them become a family.